hindsight, I'm thinking I should just stop this soulmate search and marry the first guy my parents find for me. Because every time I go on a date, each guy is hell bent on telling me how ridiculous they can be. Okay, let's take today for example. I met this guy from Bombay. He's a diamond merchant. His name is Irshad. But the guy was such a show off. Guys, you could have all the money in the world. You could be wearing the best, most expensive brands, but that alone never makes you attractive. But really guys, it's the personality that counts at the end of the day. So first things first, just having expensive clothes and wearing expensive brands does not mean that it looks great on you. Wear something that suits your body type, that makes you feel confident and I assure you, your date, including me, will be very impressed. Second thing, you can have the best brands in your wardrobe. But don't come on a date and start telling me the prices of the things that you're wearing. I don't want to know what your watch costs or how much your shoes are for or that you have a huge sneaker collection or that you live in a mansion or you drive a Ferrari. Guys, that is a huge turn off. So when you discuss the cost, the price, the brands, I start thinking that you have nothing else to show for yourself ex so, I hope you guys get it right the next time. How are you guys? I'm pretty sure you're better than me because I'm back from another horrifying date. God rue the day I decided to go on a blind date with this guy and throughout the evening, all I could do was stare at his ears. Don't get me wrong, I was looking at his piercings gone horribly bad. Okay, so I get it. Piercings are like tattoos. Your style, your body, your choice. But you really, really need to know what a piercing entails before you get it done. Here are four easy hacks that you can have in mind when you go for a pierced look. Number one. Make sure you really, really want that piercing. It is a huge part of your personality. Do some research and figure out what body part you want to get pierced. If you're going to tell me on our date that I went to a bachelor party or a music festival and woke up with my ear, nose, eyebrow, nipples or down there pierced, it's a huge turn off. Okay. Number two, make sure you know that piercing is just the first step. You really need to take care of the body part that you're getting pierced because it is very easily prone to fungal and bacterial infections and that's not a pretty sight or a pretty feeling for anybody. Number three, make sure you accessorize your piercing right and that accessory goes with what you're wearing. So for example, on a date, you can go for a minimal look with a clean stud or something like that and maybe for a job interview you go completely accessory free the choice is absolutely yours number four when you're on a date make sure if you have any piercings that are not visible you tell your date about it it's always better to be transparent about these things rather than any funky surprises right so i hope you guys get it right the next time Ajay, your dating profile wasn't very clear. What's fascinating is that he's conserving water and not taking a bath. What is with the odour? Guys, seriously, first date, make sure you do not smell like this guy. So all I'm saying is that odour, sweat, these are all natural things. How you deal with them makes all the difference in the world. So first things first, after a shower, get a roll on Dio. If you know you sweat, make sure you apply it to areas like your underarms, back of the knees, back of the neck. After you get dressed, get your favorite perfume, apply it on your pulse points and you're ready to go. Don't buy an expensive perfume, but basics go a long way. As awful as I might sound, guys, bad odor is a bad idea and nobody can stand it. Actually, I gotta go and have something in my eye. I'll come. For more fashion tips, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon.